Hello and welcome back to another edition of QA Auto Man Tutorials. Um, today we're going to be talking about uh, finding elements and using CSS selectors and we're going to go a little more in depth about that. Uh, briefly I touched upon uh, Firebug and finding the CSS selectors from Facebook um, and we're going to go a little more in depth about that and maybe even some uh, actions with uh, the driver and um, element actions. Um, so uh, let's get started. First off, go to the page, uh, Facebook for our example, where you're going to want to start selecting elements. Um, if you press F12, that will take you to um, the Firebug console, or um, if you go to Firefox, Web Developer, Web Developer, and Firebug, that also will open up. Oh, what? Let's try that one more time. Web Developer, Firebug. There we go. Um, same thing. F12 also does the same. Um, and so some of the things um, that are important. Um, this highlighter tool um, will show you uh, kind of real time the. Uh, if you look right here, the location of each element that's in the HTML. So you notice when I clicked here, it populated with this uh, hashtag and an email, and then it highlights down on the bottom um, where it's located in HTML. Uh, also to look for is down the bottom left, it says uh, one matching node. Um, that means that using this, uh, uh, using this locator, it found only one node. And that's super important, especially when you want to find the right element. Because at times you can type in something, uh, let's say, um, uh, in this case, uh, we're going to look for this uh, class underscore li right here. Um, so if I did for class, it's a period, and underscore li, evaluated. Uh, I guess there's only one of those. Um, let's go to Amazon. And let's say I wanted to get this your account. Um, and see it, it populate, um, if you notice, it populates the nav button title, nav button line 2. If I click that, all of a sudden we have five matching nodes. Um, and you can see these are the at least four of them that are showing up. Oh, fifth one on the left hand side. Um, and that's going to be uh, bad for your script if you select this and you want to click your account name and it starts click, clicking department. Um, and so we're going to try to figure out how we're going to get to that specific your account. Um, so things you want to look for when you traverse through your HTML code um, is you always want to look for uh, IDs and secondly classes. Um, this one specifically has these classes here. However, so did four other ones. Uh, so what we want is to first find our account. So this is the one we want. This nav, uh, you know, your account uh, element. So to traverse through these, um, you can type this in many different ways. The first one that we saw was uh, this period nav dash button title, and then it's a period nav button dash line two. So what this period means is the class. So it's going to search through the entire HTML and look for uh, class nav button dash title. Um, and then right next to it, there's also another class with nav button line 2. So it's going to go through the entire HTML and look for both uh, any, any of the um, elements that have a class for both these set. Um, but we, we want to kind of go a little more in depth. So um, what we're going to do is we want to start with, uh, we know that it's coming from, its parent is a span. And it's a nav dash button liner and then a nav dash sprite. So kind of doing the same same uh, syntax as this one. We're going to start typing, um, you know, period, because we want the class nav dash button dash inner and then because there's a space, meaning there's two classes involved, we're going to put another period and then nav dash sprite. Now, if we leave this as is, I'm pretty sure nothing's going to show up. 
Um, and that's because this was a parent of this class. So what we would want to do, or this 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 class, um, that the element that we're trying to select is the parent of the of the uh, the, uh, the element for your account name. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a caret. Um, so what the caret's doing is saying within any element that you find has both these classes, I want to find an element that is a child of this element that has these two classes. So if I click this evaluate tool, which FirePath is doing, um, is it will use this and it will evaluate and search the HTML for the uh, specific <coughs> um, elements. Uh, Notice it's still showing the five nodes. So that means that we weren't specific enough. So we need to even go a little more specific than than these two. So um, uh, let's let's go up maybe another another row. So this class, this span class, nav button mid, um, and then nav sprite. So let's try that. Um, dot nav button dash mid um, and then period and then now sprite and this one's gonna be the parent for this and then this is gonna be parent for this so it chains down so it starts traversing from this point down so if we evaluate it still getting five okay um, we're gonna have to pull on a, pull out some special special tools for this one some uh, Ah, so if you know this one has your account name, which uh, um, is different if uh, from this one's in your nav prime, nav your account. So this one's probably our ticket. So let's uh, put in for ID. IDs are very very useful because um, they're you most of the time going to be unique throughout the uh, page. So you notice how we did period for class for ID. We're going to do a pound sign. Um, and classes and IDs are the only ones who have special characters. Um, I'll go in a little more depth about other attributes that um, for elements um, after this. So let's continue. Um, so ID, we're gonna type in nav dash York. Actually, I'm going to copy it, copy paste. And <coughs> this one is a parent of this class or this element. So we're gonna put in a carrot for that. And there we go, matching one node, and your account's the only one being um, uh, being highlighted. So I'm going to take this long string, and uh, I'm actually going to uh, let's comment out this code. Uh, and we are going to driver dot get. Um, we're gonna put HTTP and www.amazon.com, and then we're gonna do what we did before: web element. Um, we'll say what we want to call this: the your account dropdown. So we'll say account, then DD. I usually put DD for um, account. Um, it's easier to remember double D's. <laughs> the web account DD equals um, driver dot find element. Um, we're gonna click the by CSS selector and put in your uh, quotes and paste that in. Now this one's pretty long. Um, so let's uh, <coughs> let's do some. Let's drop this down. Um, okay, and now that we have this saved, we are going to interact with it just so we know. Count dd dot click. All right, so we're going to run this, and we should see it clicking. Let's go to where's our test. 
right click run as Java application so this should start up a new driver and go to amazon.com find our element and click it here we go oh and it clicked so um, I guess clicking on that um, clicking on this right here will take you to this page uh, so that's good um, that's what we wanted um, so that's kind of a going to run down on the ID and the class. So let's say you run into an element. Um, let's go back to Facebook. Um, let's see if there's an element here that is ID list. Um, <clears throat> okay, so this forgot your password, this link. Um, there's no IDs and there's no classes. So what we can do, we can do a few things. Um, in this case, we're going to find a starting point. Um, it looks like this good starting point would be the, this form, because it encapsulates everything. Um, so we're going to start with this form, with this ID login form. Um, so let's just type that in, login underscore form. Um, and then within, within that form, um, instead of putting a caret, because if I put a caret and I try to move down to something that's not input or table, a T body, it won't be able to find it. So I'm going to put a space. And what a space would do was it would say, if you find an element that has an ID login form, any uh, element within that, uh, that's a child or a child of the child, of, of that, in our case, form, it will look for it with only within that area. So we're going to skip from form, we're going to skip input and table, and we're going to go straight to uh, we're going to go straight to let's see so these classes are the same so that would be a little weird. Um, <coughs> okay so what we do know what we do know is it's the third um, row for the table. So we can actually say within here, we can say we want the first TR, and then you put a colon, and you can put nth-child, and then in parentheses, a number. So what this is saying is that anything that's within login form, that there's a, a, a TR element or tag, that is the third child of anything. So that means that anytime there's a third child of any of these any rows, it will select it. Um, if I wanted to select this one, it would be two, and this one would be you know one, and so on and so forth. Which takes us down to this TD. And now these have both the same class. So we're going to do that again. This time we're going to have the parent TD colon, and then nth child uh, two. So that should be selecting this third and then the second one, and then we want within there A. If I evaluate, there we go. Select this forget password and one node matching. Um, so <clears throat> let's save this one. Um, we'll use this for future, future testing. Um, I'll just type in here, uh, web element, Forgot link equals driver dot find element by CSS select exhilarating I know uh, CSS selector paste that and um and uh, actually actually we can actually run all of this um we can uh, I'm moving things around so it will find the email, put login, name, it will find this forgot password, it will forgot link dot click, which we are familiar with. I'm gonna put a a, a wait right here um, just to kind of take it all in of our work. Um, let's give me an error. 
we're gonna add, we're just gonna throw throw this, uh, this exception in here. So. so based on this, we'll go to Facebook. We'll go to login. We'll send keys. My login name. We will then search for a uh, our forgot password link, and it will click it. It will wait, and then we'll go to Amazon, and we'll click that uh, drop down that we selected previously. So save. Uh, right click, run as Java. So this should run everything, and then close the browser up. <coughs> uh, so there we go. Facebook, my login name, forgot password, find your account that worked. Came over here, clicked it, took us over there, boom. There you go. That's uh it's kind of the uh pretty pretty cool stuff. I know it's so exciting to tell your friends like, oh my gosh, I'm an automator. <laughs> um so the next thing, like let's um if you start running into things uh, like uh, you can you can find an element based on any attribute. So for example, if we stick with this A and we just say A um, and then we put brackets. And so what brackets is, is it's an attribute of any tag. So I can say A, I could put div, um, I could put uh, let's let's or input. Input's a good one. So let's say this one right here, input, um, and let's say we want to get the name, and the name is Lurgnerdner. Oh, excuse me, Lurgnerd is what we're looking for. So <laughs> within the brackets, we're going to put the attribute name, or at yeah, the attribute name. So in this case, it's name equals, and then I like to put uh, single quotes. Um, I don't think you necessarily need to put single quotes, but it's just nice, just good, good syntax for me. Um, click evaluate. There you go. It came and select the name Lurgenwurrend. Uh, you can do that with anything. If uh, let's say type hidden input and we're to type uh, hidden, it will now select every element that has input type hidden. Um, so it's uh, the same thing with uh, classes too. Um, if you have uh, an IDs, ID equals, is there one with an ID? Uh, is there anything with an ID on this page? Ah, form. So in this case we put form ID equals uh, login underscore form. We evaluate that and it selects um, the login form. So it can be written that way or it can just be written you know, kind of shorthand. Um, I prefer shorthand, it just shortens the code and uh, usually the ID is pretty much uh, already describing the, the element. So it's super useful. Um, I, uh, I'm gonna put in the bottom of the video the CSS selector reference that I like to use sometimes. Um, there's all kinds of different ways to find elements. Um, this is kind of like a nice little reference guide when I'm really having some trouble trying to select a specific link uh, or a specific element. Uh, this is really helpful. Um, so you can always take a look at this and um, if uh, you have any questions about something or want an example, just put in the comments and uh, I can show a nice example. I don't want to go through every single one because time's limited. So that's kind of the uh, basics of the CSS selector. Um, so some of the driver um, actions we can check out. Uh, so we know about find element, find element on a page. Uh, find elements. Um, cool thing about find elements is it will select any and all elements and save it in a list. So um, if we go back to our Amazon.com and we have uh, how we did um, how it's selecting all five of those. Um, so I'm going to actually use this this CSS uh, selector location, and um, I am going to find by CSS selector. 
Uh, we're going to use this one and we're going to print out all of the, uh, the, the text of the um, element. Um, so these, these ones have um, actual text, text like department or account, prime, card, list. Um, so we have the find elements um, and we're going to set this in a list of web element. Um, we'll call these what do we call it? Um, nav buttons <laughs> equals to uh, add so nav buttons um, and we'll just create a nice, nice little for loop for web element Bhutan of nav buttons. We are going to uh, get the text. So this is the text of the element, um, and we're going to print this. So let's do a oh, just type in buttons. Uh, so we can print this one out. <clears throat> so in our console we should see this print. Um, we're going to we'll just kill all this code and we will also kill this code too. So we're just going to run this and it should print out all of the elements. It's running. Amazon, select everything. There we go. So department, your account, prime, cart, list. Um, so that's uh, a good thing, you know, for find elements. It does the same thing as with the CSS selectors. Um, it just finds all um, all the elements. It saves them. You can save them in a list and then do what you want with those. Um, maybe we'll have a, a test case later where we actually have to do do that. Um, let's keep that code. Um, the let's see the, the driver dot uh, you have get current URL so this will just print the current URL you're at um, so we can save this this will return a string so string um, URL um, equals this and then we'll just print URL um, so when we run this, it will print, should print the actual URL. In this case, it's just be Amazon.com. So run as. Load up. There we go. www.http, yeah, www.amazon.com. Um, we have let's see driver dot get URL. Um, see we have the find element. Uh, another one um, get title. Um, so we'll get the title of the page, and this is usually useful for when you're trying to assert make sure you're actually on the page. Not only you're checking URL, but you can check title. So you can string title equals this, and we will. Title. So this should print uh, our URL, our title, and then the list of our previous uh, nav buttons. <coughs> so you should get the, I mean, this kind of, you should get the hang of it. Like driver kind of gives you kind of the basic elements of the page, and you can return it to you, and you can manipulate them, assert with, you know, data values and, and things like that. So uh, driver, you know, Really, you know, useful for uh, getting all the all the things you need of a page. There we go. Amazon.com, online shopping, electronics, apparel, computers, books, DVDs, and more. Um, so this will kind of conclude our uh, tutorial. Um, and uh, I think our um, next tutorial kind of 
dive more into uh, some of the actions we can do with elements um, um, them uh, specifically uh, kind of uh, like clicks and uh, we'll dive in more so uh, until next time next time is when we'll meet because you'll play the video and all that jazz have a good night